Let's watch how this issue of our changes that we've saved but we haven't committed yet follow us as we move branches when we're using Visual Studio Code. So here, let me uh, save that. So, so now we see this modification here and if we switch to the main branch, it's still there, like it followed us. So as I explained in the previous videos, um, what you what you do to deal with that is, uh, if, assuming you didn't want to commit them, that is, you would stash your changes. So here's how we do how we stash changes in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go here, stash, stash. Um, it needs to either we give it our name or we press enter to confirm. And this is confusing. Like ah, my changes reappeared. Right, because they're in this special place, this stash, and you would have to uh, restore them and then commit them. Um, so they're there, they're just in the quote unquote stash. But now, now that they're there, I can jump over to main and you can see main looks the way I expected. I don't have those changes there. And now I'm ready. I switch over to development. I can restore the stash so it's called pop and ask me which one pop that in and there and now it's back and i can commit the changes um, i will say that i like basically never use stash i find it really confusing and I lose track of what my stashes are. So what I do is I always commit everything before I switch branches.